Did you hear about that article from Business Wire that said on average, Americans spend approximately six hours cleaning their homes a week, while roughly a third of us are concerned about if that's even enough? Hi, my name is Ariel, and I tried the Clean Mama routine for one week. If you don't know who Clean Mama is, she is a home cleaning expert. Her name is Becky Rappinchuk, and she gets a whole 1 million views on her blog a month. She says she only cleans 30 minutes a day, and by following her simple cleaning schedule, a half Half hour a day is enough to maintain a clean home. Well, that sounds too good to be true. 30 minutes a day is about how long I spend cleaning already, and it always looks like this. <laughs> but hey, a million people a month think this is worth looking into, so here I am. One in a million. So she splits up her cleaning routine into three sections. We have daily tasks, weekly tasks, and monthly tasks. So I really don't get into the monthly in this video, uh, baby steps, okay? I wrote everything on paper so that I could just check things off as I go. Also, I didn't wanna buy her planner because $58 for a planner? You'd think that planner was handcrafted by the Queen of England. Anyway, let's start with the five daily tasks. Make your bed. Every cleaning expert and their mother's brothers are gonna tell you to make your bed. We have heard this one a bajillion times, cause it's a good one. One made bed makes one clean looking room. Even if it's a mess, cause if you got a king bed like me, the bed takes up 90% of the room, which is awesome. So I normally don't make my bed, I'm kinda bad about that. So this is the first time I've made my bed in months. Yeah. That is embarrassing. The next daily task is to start a load of laundry. Clean Mama suggests that you should do a load of laundry every single day, wash, dry, and fold. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. We are a family of three, so I'm curious to see if we even have seven loads of laundry to do throughout the week. I mean, I know we have one load of laundry that sits on the couch for seven days. Is is that the same thing? But this was a challenge too, because Clean Mama says we can't just wash the laundry and leave it in the washer for the next three days. But we have to dry them and fold them and put them away too? What am I, Wonder Woman? Well, that's just what I did for the sake of this video. And I'll have you know that I did not have enough laundry to do every day. So again, I did all my daily tasks except laundry because there's no way I'm doing that small of a load of laundry. Yeah, that's, that's just not happening. So I did four loads of laundry and I missed three days. It's also very easy to get distracted when you have a toddler. And it was strange being able to sit on my couch this week without a mountain of laundry. I mean, I forgot what the back of my couch felt like. It was oddly comfortable. The third daily task is to pick up clutter. She suggests that you keep on top of your clutter throughout the day, open your mail right away, take five minutes at a time to go through the house, picking up all the random toys and papers on the floor and tables. This is my favorite spot to clutter up. The buffet. Some people call it a sideboard, tomato, potato. So I focus mainly on decluttering here and picking up the living room I too. I just want to show you guys my son's talents. He made a T-Rex out of Legos. The fourth daily task is to wipe your counters. This was easy. It took me about one minute. She recommends wiping your kitchen counters and your bathroom counters. I had some old dried up food that was really stuck on the counters and I heard of this trick that you can use a paint scraper and scrape it right off. It was really nice to be able to run my hand across the counter and not feel the Rocky Mountains. So I'd say this is a good one to do every day. So you don't have to pull out the scraper to begin with. And the last task, but not the least set of the five, although it is my least favorite task, check your floors. She doesn't mean you have to sweep every single day, but just check them and see if there's any crumbs. I did clean my tables because I might as well get the crumbs off the table and onto the floor so I can sweep them up. And you may only have to sweep under the table, which let's be honest, if you're a mom, sweeping under the table is a daily occurrence. And those are the daily tasks. It's only five tasks. That's doable. Not a fan of doing laundry every day as a family of three, but if I were a part of a bigger family, then it would definitely be a smart idea. All right, moving on to the weekly task. There's a weekly task for every day of the week except for Sunday. So let's start with Monday, which is bathroom cleaning day. As if Mondays were unpleasant enough, let's make that the day that you get to scrub dung off your toilets. So I'm gonna start off with my sink because everyone loves a clean sink. Does anyone else put their cat's water bowl on the sink? These pointy-eared creatures and their dissatisfaction with drinking water in a bowl on the floor. Next, I'll clean the toilet and, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you guys see it?
If someone has ever done this to you in your household, then like this video to join the Angry Wife Club. We meet every day of the week from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Now this embarrasses me more than anything, my bathtub. I do not keep up on it like I should, and now I have mold to clean off. I am so sorry you had to see this, but a little Comet Bath Foaming Spray should take care of that. While that sits for a minute, I'm gonna go get a quick sweep in. And back to scrubbing my tubbin. Yeah, that sounded cool. It's honestly hard to make my tub look clean because it's this horribly outdated beige color. I cannot wait to replace it one day. Moving on to Tuesday, which is dusting day. I am using this handy tool that's actually used to clean car vents, but hey, works great on blinds too. Dusting is something I barely ever do. I will neglect this chore for months on end. So you can only imagine how dusty my house was. It was in rough shape, but I recruited my three-year-old to help. Oh yeah, you're doing it, you're doing it. And I'm not kidding when I say I was dusting for a whole hour. I didn't even show you guys myself dusting the upstairs because I got tired of hauling the tripod everywhere. But you should have seen the dust bunnies I pulled out from under my bed. I'm a star. I'm a star from a bar, I'm a bar from a star. One place I did not expect to be so dusty under the couch. You wouldn't think that that would be a place to collect a lot of dust, but it looked like dusty wonderland down there. I just dusted underneath the couch. That is a dusty place. Here's my dust bunny. I just want to take a moment and invite you to subscribe to my channel, where I make videos that are meant for moms of young children, and my main goal is to bring laughter to your day. So now it is Wednesday and today is vacuuming day. I have this two inch shag rug and I can only vacuum backwards or the vacuum gets stuck and won't move, but I'm just glad it at least works backwards. Does anyone else's toddler hate when you vacuum? You can't hear it, but he's angry at me. I don't have a lot of carpet in my house, mostly hardwood, so since I didn't have much to vacuum, I decided to vacuum out my couches. But if you're a mom, this has to be a monthly occurrence, if not weekly, because these couches get messy and that's an understatement. It's also a great time for your toddler because they can jump all over the cushions. I don't have one of those fancy schmancy vacuums that will vacuum your hardwood floors, so I have to sweep my floors. I figured since tomorrow is floor washing day, then I better sweep up all of the dirt today in preparation for that. I ended up sweeping my entire house top to bottom, and now it is Thursday, and that means it's mopping day. This is the all-time best floor cleaner, fabuloso. I fell in love with this stuff five years ago, specifically the green one because it smells like pears and then your whole house smells like pears and then you just get these intense cravings for pears. So you gotta go to the store and buy some pears and then eat the pears in pears. So yeah, fabuloso smells fabulous. I had already had a babysitter lined up ahead of time so this worked out perfectly because I don't have to have toddler footprints all around my freshly mopped floors. And mopping the entire house was a huge job and it was tiring. On a side note, I'm finding that doing clean mama's cleaning routine is causing me to neglect my dishes. Slowly the house is looking so clean that I feel like I'm living in my mother's house, but then as the house gets cleaner, the dishes get more out of control. I'm so busy cleaning the whole house that I don't have time to clean dishes. I'm booked up here and Friday is here. Oh, oh. Today is catch-all day. Catch-all day is a catch-up day. Everything you didn't get to this week, do on Friday. I didn't get to my second bathroom on Monday, so that is what I'm going to do today. Did you guys decide if you're going to join the Angry Wife Club? Now is the time, ladies. Now is the time. Also, if you are just totally on top of your game and have everything done, Miss. No white, then you can catch up on projects you may be procrastinating on. We all have them. Good thing I don't have to get to them today because I procrastinated cleaning the bathroom on Monday. You can wait a few more months to get cleaned, car seat. <laughs> So that was pretty easy. It's a small bathroom and it was already dusted, swept, and mopped this week. Saturday is a breath of fresh air. It's sheets and towels day. So when I got out of bed this morning, I opened my curtains, I put on my bathrobe, and I started getting my sheets together. I didn't have to make my bed this morning, so I just took all the sheets and brought them straight to the laundry basket. Now Jace is awake and I can grab his bed sheets too. There are so many toys in his bed 
that he sleeps with. Does anyone else's toddler sleep with random things? Like a pool noodle? I can't. It's like one big mountain. I can't go climb. All right, you got it, let's go. Chase wanted to help me with the laundry, so I figured this was the best way. Whoa. Back to this place where I am very familiar with this week. Laundry never ends, just like dishes never end. Time for the satisfying part of making the bed. Nothing like the smell of clean bed sheets. While adults enjoy climbing into a freshly cleaned and made bed, toddlers prefer to jump on the freshly made bed. Now moving on to our room, the sheet that you already see on the bed is a waterproof mattress protector from way back in the day when we used to co-sleep. I do not miss those days of being kicked in the face multiple times a night, but I kept the protective sheet on the bed because we have a purple mattress and I definitely want to protect it because it was very expensive, but worth it. It saved me from regular back pain. I already washed my towels during the week through those many loads of laundry, so no need to wash them again today. And on Sunday, you're still gonna do your daily task, but there is no weekly task for Sunday, which is nice to have the Lord's Day to rest. I enjoyed this routine, it was fairly simple, and the daily tasks really do help to keep your house looking nice. I probably will have to add dishes to my daily tasks so I don't get so behind on them. I definitely did not clean my house in 30 minutes a day, more like an hour and a half a day, but that could be just because I don't keep up on my cleaning as much as I should. Perhaps if I did this cleaning routine every single week, Week, dusting wouldn't be an hour-long ordeal. I would recommend this routine to anybody who is struggling to keep a clean home. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a fabuloso week and pair it with a clean home. <laughs> I'll see you soon.